Hey guys, this is Pippin here. Welcome to the world of spatial information technology. In this video, we will discuss about editing and writing the vector file by using Fiona and Sapley Python library. Fiona is a Python library for you know reading and writing the vector data, and uh, Sapley is a Python package for manipulation and analysis of uh, planar geometric objects. Without discussing too much about the theoretical part, let's go for demonstration. For this, I am using Jupyter Notebook Terminal. We are moving further, we need to see that uh, uh, these two package that is um, Fiona and say please install or not. Checking this simply type pip so uh, Fiona. Yeah. Looks like uh, Fiona is installed having version 1.8.4. These are the metadata description of Fiona package. Simply you can check uh, uh, say please install or not. Yeah, looks like say please also installed here having version 1.6.4. Okay. Now, uh, first we'll discuss about uh, how to read the vector file. A uh, vector file may be either in GeoJSON format or in save file format. For this, uh, first we need to import the Fiona library. Uh, before reading the vector file, uh, first I would like to show you the vector file on any open source JS platform. Yeah, see this is the vector file. Looks like there is three feature is here. And you can also see the attribute uh, column here. Looks, there, looks like there is three attribute id area and perimeter all right let's go back to the terminal yeah uh, first uh, read the vector file uh, vector file equal to fiona dot open the name of save file is uh, test dot JSON. Uh, it may be save file format. Yeah. Now, if you want to see the driver, you can simply write driver is equal to vector uh, file dot driver. Uh, see, it's a geo right now driver JSON because it's a JSON uh, format. And same uh, if you want to see the schema I mean how many attribute and what's the geometry of this vector file so simply you can type uh, schema equal to vector file dot uh, schema print the schema yeah see uh, looks like there is three attribute it's ID area and perimeter and the geometry type is polygon uh, same if you want to see the coordinate information so simply you can type crs equal to vector file dot crs and uh, print the crs value uh, yeah looks like epsg code is 3424 and uh, even you can see you know how many how many feature in this vector file so simply you can type length of vector file yeah see looks like uh, three feature in this vector file as I have shown you right now one two three feature is there here all right now in the next uh, section we will discuss uh, how to uh, write a vector file here I have a I have a CSV file and uh, I want to write uh, this CSV file as a vector file that uh, either is in um, JSON format or in save file format. So, looks here is uh, um, some few columns is there are uh, label, uh, this is x coordinate basically listing and y coordinate noting, and this is elevation, and this is other information miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous information. So, what I want to do, I want to you know like uh, convert this CSV file into the CF file format. Uh, having following, uh, I mean having the attribute label uh, x coordinate, y coordinate, and elevation. Uh, for this, first uh, 
we need to import um, the following library first so i'm importing library simply simply uh, from simply dot geometry i'm importing first uh, first point uh, point why we are importing because um, uh, first we need to create uh, you know the wkt if you don't know about wkt just google it and you will get uh, no good information about uh, wkt i'm importing point and uh, mapping pack mapping module yeah first we have imported this and um, since um, i'm going to write um, a, a vector file so from fiona we need to import uh, one more package um, crs also we need to import uh import from epsg now um, for writing a csv file first uh, you need to you know like uh, keep in mind the following points uh first uh, you need to you know create the schema schema basically you know like uh, creating i mean creating all the attributes um, in the geometry and the second point you need to uh, remember um cr you need to you know like um, create the C a crs i mean coordinate reference system and then finally you can write the CS csv file so first i am creating the schema schema equal to uh just see the syntax uh, first we need to create the geometry geometry should be geometry and uh, it should be point because it's a um, i mean we are going to create the you know like um, x y coordinate into you know like points a file format and then properties is basically the attribute information properties and and um, i want to create the following properties i mean first i mean first attribute is uh, say label and label uh, will looks like label should be you know like uh, string information and uh, second attribute i want you know x coordinate or say i want a string and uh, this should be uh, float information and uh, third i want per attribute i want no thing and this uh, should be again float and third attribute i want elevation this um, could be again float okay schema i have already created guys second we need to create the crs subsect since we have already imported here uh, you know from epsg to from epsg and uh, epsg code since uh, all this coordinate um, came into indian 43 and zone so and the epsg code for 43 and is 32643 yeah so schema and the crs we have created here and now we are going to you know write the csv file for it before writing the csv file first we need to read you know like a uh, csv file so with open and the name of csv file is demo test data csv i'm going to read this csv file so it's a read mode as file and um, csv file equal to okay uh before reading the csv file first we need to import the csv library import csv now csv dot reader and uh, file you can see here we can print all the information for you know for, for row in 
read csv file uh, print row row invalid syntax of Expected in uh, indent. Yeah, yeah. Looks like um, yeah. We are able to read the this read the CSV file. Okay, all right, guys. Now we need to write the CSV file. For writing the CSV file, uh, just type with uh, Fiona dot open. Uh, so let's say uh, the output CSV file. I mean, the output vector file name is output dot geojson. And also, um, you know, write into SSH file format also. And since I'm going to write, then mode is right and uh, driver equal to geojson because I'm going to write in geojson format. And uh, CRS information equal to CRS as I have already created the CRS uh, object and uh, schema I have already created schema equal to schema itself as say source. Now since uh, I'm going to write um, you know all this point into a you know like a point say file format basically the vector file uh, vector file type is point say file. So first iterate over the rows in CSV file for row in CSV file. First we need to create the WK point WKT object. Mm, first create the point WKT equal to point. We have already imported the point geometry from Setly. And since uh, these are all in text format, uh, the point should be x and y first x and y so x is um, this is at zero indices this is at one indices so row of one and uh, y is a row of two this is zero indices one indices and second indices and since uh, it's in text format uh, i want and it is taking as, as a float only because it's taking and noting either an integer or a, or as a float for um, safe side i'm giving it a float right now float and now uh, now i'm going to you know write the write uh, uh, this source um, into the vector file format dot write write mm, the first uh, yeah, see the see the architecture of schema here. geometry is point and then properties you need to write so first we need to write geometry uh, it should be map you need to map this point that we have created just right now point and then properties properties uh, sorry the schema should be in inside the curly braces only inside, inside the curly braces you can see here schema is inside the curly bracket okay then properties in properties first is uh, first is level, then is sting, then northing, and elevation. So first is label. Label I can give a row of label is it zero indices, and it's a sting. So that's why uh, row of uh, zero thin zero thin indices, and um, second uh, attribute is sting sting should be the float so you can write here float and this is row row one indices this is one indices and uh, and 
एंड थर्ड एट्रीब्यूट इज नॉर्थिंग नॉर्थिंग एंड इट शुड बी रोफ सॉरी इट इज एगेन फ्लोट and it should be second indices row of second indices and uh, last attribute is ele elevation and it's again float and this is row of this is 0 1 2 3 this is row of 3 yeah all right guys you can just write write it oh it's giving the syntax in this zero uh, invalid syntax okay looks like here i here i have missed one bracket closing bracket run again the code yeah it looks like looks uh, run successfully you can see the output here uh, the output dot json is generated here and also you can see into qjs uh directly import this output json file and uh, you will see yeah see the points if i same file is uh, you know not displaying here you can also see the attribute uh, column of uh, this file see the label listing noting and label all right Uh, that's all for this video guys hope you enjoyed the learning if you really like my video don't forget to hit like share and subscribe my channel so that you can get a uh, new video first sign off for today bye bye see you in the next lecture